My gosh. Hey guys, it's Harleywood. Welcome back. All right. I have reviewed a lot of flashlights on this channel and um, this is no joke, no hyperbole. This thing was, uh, it was a lot of fun. You'll, you'll probably see it when I do some of the nighttime comparison footage. In fact, you'll, you'll hear it in my voice more than you'll see it. This thing is crazy and this isn't even the highest power version. So this is the X75 from Ace Beam. This particular version is the XHP 70.3 high power. This one only puts out only 67,000 lumens. The 2.0 version puts out 80,000 lumens. Now, when I initially got it, I thought this was the 80,000 lumen version. In fact, in some of the footage at night, you may hear me say 80,000. This is only the 67,000 lumen version. So if you get the other one, <laughs> I can... This thing is so bright, in fact, that it has a built-in cooling fan. Now, I rolled out a YouTube short and I said, does your flashlight sound like this? Watch this. If I double click this into turbo mode, actually, I'll put it right here next to my mic. You hear that fan kick on? This thing is insanely bright. So there's four screws that hold in this handle here. And if you undo those and you pull this handle out, there's actually a little cooling fan that sucks air into these vents on the bottom, circulates it around and spits it out these exhaust ports on the top to keep this thing cool. So 67,000 lumens, 426,000 candela. In fact, just a little bit over that. Now, because this light puts out so much power, it has a few safety features built into it. So for one, you'll see that there's a switch on the actual grab handle here. So you can mechanically lock this out so that the buttons will not press. So let's say you had this in a bag or you know wherever you wanna keep this, keep it physically, mechanically locked out so that there is no ability to push, like literally the buttons won't depress at this point because I think this switch actually slides up underneath them. The other safety feature we mentioned is obviously the cooling fan. So the cooling fan will come on for one of two reasons, either when the light reaches a certain temperature or if you go into turbo, turbo mode, like I showed you just a minute ago, it'll automatically kick on, all right? Now, if the light while you're using it gets to a certain temperature, even if you turn the light off, that fan will still stay on until it comes back down and goes below the, uh, the thermal protection kind of threshold. If you wanted to physically turn the fan off, so let's say you had the light on, it was on turbo, the fan's going, you turn the light off and that fan is still going, this top button here, if you press it one time, the fan will, will uh, manually shut back off, okay? So you can turn it off if you wanted to. Now, in the user manual, it says if the light is really hot, they don't advise doing that. They advise letting the fan continue to cool the unit and bring the temperature back down. But if for some reason you needed to turn it off, you do have that option. The last feature is this rubber cap here. So it is removable. It's just a rubber cap so that if you set it down, it's to keep you from scratching it. But it actually changes color as the light heats up, all right? So if you see this light sitting on a table and this is a pale gray, that means the unit is hot. And as the unit cools back down, it goes back down into kind of the dark gray that you see here. So let's talk about these buttons. So if you press, it'll come on to the last mode that you had it in, unless it was turbo. A double press gets it into turbo. And there you can hear the fan coming on, all right? I'm gonna turn it back on, and now if I press and hold, it will cycle through the brightness modes, okay? I'm gonna put them up here on the screen so you can see the associated lumen levels. If I triple click, it goes into strobe mode. That's a 55,000 lumen strobe mode. So that is with the lower button there. Now, if the light is on and I just want momentary turbo, I can click the, or press and hold the upper button and it'll go into momentary turbo. And as soon as I release it, it goes off and you can hear the fan kicking on and off. There's also a battery power indicator on the side here. Now to recharge the light, you're gonna remove the tail cap on the bottom. And right there is your USB-C port. It does come with a fast charge USB-C brick here but that port also serves as an external 
battery source. So let's say I wanted to charge my cell phone. If I had a USB-C to Lightning, I could charge my cell phone, or if you're on an Android, USB-C to USB-C, and you can leverage the battery inside of here to charge a mobile device. Now inside the box, obviously I mentioned you're gonna get the charging cable and the power brick there, but it also comes with a replacement fan, okay? so. If and when the fan on this burns out, like I said, you simply remove those four screws and there's instructions in the user manual on how to swap the new fan. So they give you a replacement. Now, last night I took this out back and I ended up taking it down to the pasture, which I don't get to do often because it's rare that I have a flashlight that can throw you know, a couple hundred yards. Um, but I took it here in the backyard as well as down to the pasture and I compared it to just to give you a baseline, the M2R Pro from Olight, which is a very popular light that a lot of people carry, so it'll just kind of give you something that maybe a lot of you are familiar with in terms of output to compare to, and trust me, there was no comparison. Um, and then the new, I just thought this would be fun to throw in there, 7000 Lumen Marauder Mini. Let's take a look. Now to get us a baseline, what you're going to see first is the Olight M2R Pro. This is only 1800 lumens. For frame of reference, that barn right there is 61 yards from where I'm standing. It's 14 feet tall at the peak. So it gives you kind of an idea of the size of the hotspot on the M2R Pro. Very popular light. A lot of people will be familiar with it. Way back in the dark spot back there, you'll see just a, a white dot back there. That is a steel target. I actually had to move it forward. It's at 100 yards now. It used to be 107. It's right at 100 from where I'm standing. Let me move that off to the side and bring in the ace beam. <laughs> now you'll hear the fan kick on. Look at this monster. Now, my ISO is 10,000. This is an F4 F-stop, and this is what they advertised it on their uh, website. I'll roll in a picture of that right here so you can see it, but <laughs> this is insane. Completely washes out the barn. And I'm gonna bring back in the M2R Pro. You can kind of see it trying to make its way in from the right side over here, and just gets lost. So. That's the M2R Pro. That is the Ace Beam X75. That is nuts. All right, now what you're gonna see is the new Warrior 2 Mini. So that is 7,000 lumens, and I thought this was a monster. And for its size, I mean, it's a pretty compact little light. That is a lot of output, but let's bring back in, move that off the side, bring back in the X75. <laughs> So that is the Warrior 2 Mini, or Mara I'm sorry, the Marauder Mini. That is the X75. Marauder X75. All right, I'm not gonna bother with the M2R Pro. We are out in the pasture. It's not too often we have to take a trip to the pasture, but this is the Marauder Mini. Again, 7,000 lumens. Um, I'm going off memory. I think this tree right here in front of me is 35 or 36 yards. I'll look it up in post and I'll roll it into the screen here. I think that cluster of trees that you see right there is 60 yards. And then you can't really see it with this ISO setting, but way back there, oh, no, excuse me. That group of trees way back here. In fact, if I switch to the other mode, those trees way back there, I think are 170 yards can't really make those out all that well with this ISO setting. In fact, I'm gonna change this ISO setting because I don't think this is reflective of what my eye is seeing. That's more what my eye sees. Yeah, now you can see those trees back there because I can see them with my naked eye, with the light, obviously. So again, 35 yards, about 60 yards, and way back there to the left of this tree, is about 170, but I'll roll it in on the screen here, confirm. All right, let's turn that off and bring in the X75. <laughs> Look, you didn't even know those trees were over there, did you? That's the group of trees I was talking about. My gosh. I don't think, guys, I don't think anything has ever, ever lit up the pasture like this. 175 yards way back over there. And I mean, look at the amount of flood on this thing. There's the bottom of the spill. Down, 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 down. There's the hot spot on that tree closest to us. Down, 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 down. There's the top of the spill. Oh, 
Oh, and I forgot to mention it has an ultra low mode. So if you if the light is off and you long press the bottom button there, it goes into its ultra low mode. Now that said, let's look at the lumen levels. There's a couple different options. I think there's four different options of this unit here. All right, there's the 80,000 lumen version. There's an eco model. There's the 60,000 ver uh, 67,000 lumen version and an eco model. So I'm going to put those up on the screen right here so you can kind of briefly see them. If you want to spend any time with these, maybe pause the video. Obviously, there's going to be a link in the description below where you can go check out all the details. That's it, guys. That's the X75 from Ace Beam. I've only reviewed a handful of things from them, and I have never not been impressed. Is that right? Is that a double negative? I've always been impressed by the stuff. Usually it's their design aesthetics that get me. On this one, it was definitely the function. Uh, they put a lot of thought into this thing. The fact that they gave it a mechanical lockout because God, you would not want this thing coming on in your bag. But I'm gonna post a link in the description below to where you can check this out. Do me a favor, guys. If you like this video, please give it a like down below. Consider subscribing. I do a lot of giveaways on this channel. This is not gonna be one of them. Hi, sweetheart. My daughter's waving to me from inside. She just got home from school. But I do a lot of giveaways on this channel, so make sure you're subscribed. And there's a link in the description also to join my newsletter. Every time one of my giveaways goes live, I send an email out to my newsletter list and let the, let the, that audience know, okay? I don't spam you. I won't send you a bunch of garbage or anything like that. It's just to let you know when a giveaway goes live. And as always, I appreciate your time watching. Lots more content to come, and I will see you on the next one.